Good afternoon, good afternoon, beautiful people. It is your boy Shannon Coleman Sr., aka The Rev. How you guys doing? Um, look, look, it's beautiful to me. I mean, it's not, not that chilly, it's not that hot. I like it like this. Um, so you know, I'm enjoying it. But um, I, I, you know, I'm just, I'm sitting here, man, and I'm, I, I am, I am you know, walking into 2022 double deuces with a different mindset, right? And I want you all to just peep what I'm trying to say. Peep what I'm trying to say. We can't let other people, things and circumstances determine our mood and how we respond to situations. We can't give people that much control over our emotions, right? Once we allow people to control our emotions, then they can control our day. They can control our life. They can control our finances. They can control everything about us. So we must be strong enough. We must be strong enough to be able to recognize those people, those spirits, those things that might try to come in and hinder us from walking in our purpose and in our destiny. We've been called for something greater than this. You know, um, I'm, I'm just I'm just perplexed. And I, and I look at what's going on in society today. And a lot of stuff that's going on in society today is because we allow other people, places and things to control how we feel about a certain situation. Listen, history is real. It's not going anywhere. It's going to always be there. It's a place for you to go back into and research and look back into certain situations and things so that you don't begin to make the same mistakes over and over and over again. If you don't understand the history of the thing, then you're doomed to repeat the thing all over again. And that's exactly what we're doing in the community as a people. We have to realize we've been here before. We've suffered gun violence before. We suffered drug abuse before. We suffered all of these things before as a people, yet we're back at this place again. Why are we back at this place again? Because we didn't handle the tra trauma that we faced before. So now we're doomed to repeat the same cycle all over again. It's generational, generational poverty, generational drug abuse, generational mis mental, mental, mental uh, disturbances or, or, or mental health issues. It's generational. And until we as a people begin to work on those things in our communities, then we're going to continue to face these same things over and over and over again. You know, a, a lot of us look at how, a black men being absent from the home. Why are black men absent from the home? Why? Somebody help me understand why. I can tell you why, because they wanted to provide for their families and they and they were uh, they were pushed into a system that didn't want them to be there. They were pushed into a system that, that, that refused them, that wanted to keep them down, that wanted to make them feel lower than low. So once the black man was defeated, the system began to feed into the black woman. They took the black man away out of the home and gave the black women woman everything that they needed in the system to try to act like they was taking care of that woman. And then they snatched that back. Welfare, WIC, housing, right? They made it so easy at first and then they snatched it back. Now you don't have a man to take care of you or help take care of you. And you don't have those systems in place anymore either. And now we have a generation of kids growing up with absent fathers, drug addict mothers, and all kinds of boy abusive boyfriends coming in the home, and now girlfriends coming in the home and destroy the family. But we blame it all on a black man. Come on, man. And then brothers, we got to get out of this mindset. Yeah, we know it happened. We know history's past. So why are we continuing to allow the same history to keep us in the same place when we know that that's what they want? You have to be strong enough to say, you know what? I will not allow this system to mentally control me anymore. 
I'm not going to beg at the door scratching like a dog, like a cat for them to feed me, for them to clothe me, even though they abused me and my ancestors. So what? Yeah, they did it. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to continue to murder yourself because the system did that to you? Or are you going to tell the system, you know what? I'm not afraid of you and I'm going to connect with my brothers and I'm going to protect my sisters and we're going to do what we need to do as a people to come out of this thing because we can't stay here any longer. Don't be mad at the foreigners that come over here and establish businesses and communities. They peep the game. The question is, did you peep the game? Han lost nation? Did you? Are you doomed to repeat the same cycle over and over again? Freedom, captivity, repentance, freedom, captivity, repentance, freedom, disobedience, captivity, repentance. The same cycle, the same cycle. When God is telling you, when the Lord is telling you, if my people, my people who are called by my name will turn from their wicked ways, will humble themselves and pray, I'm going to hear from heaven and I'm going to heal their land. Is that you? Is that you? It's time to come home. I love you all with the love of God. There's nothing you can do about it. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. And never forget, I am my brother's keeper. And I'm also my sister's protector. Peace.